Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Hope you are all having a great day today. We are live on this wonderful Monday evening. Hope you are all doing well. Welcome on in. Friggin' Undissolved. First, as always, Euthestria. Nice to see you, my friend. Kicking Kevin. Daniela! Bohemian Moon. Hope you are all doing great. We are live. We are playing some more Pokemon White 2 this evening. Uh, we left off the end of last stream. We had just gotten our fifth gym badge. And we are continuing our way through the story today. Before we do that, though, uh, we are uh, starting up a boss battle on Stream Raiders. You can join us here, as always, by heading on over to StreamRaiders.com slash T slash ReachPat. Sign in with your Twitch account, click and drag your troops onto the battlefield. You can place down a unit every five minutes and in a half an hour. We will get this started. Now, uh, looks like we are about halfway to our goal of unlocking a new full skin in Stream Raiders. So if you're interested in picking up any of the awesome Reach Pat skins, uh, including the all-new Kaya Spring Warrior, which you can see right there in the uh, bottom left corner of the screen. You can do that by heading over to the Stream Raiders store and searching for Reach Pat. We got three full skins. We got the regular Kaya. We got the Springtime Kaya. We've also got the Banana Archer that you can see over on the right side of the screen. It's a monkey that shoots banana arrows. We also have a couple awesome Reach Pat Tiger head skins. Uh, and stay tuned for, um, I might be doing a Stream Raiders Skinathon sometime soon. They have some bonus rewards, um, for streamers who do Skinathons, so I'm, I'm considering setting one up. You got a gym badge too? I knew you could do it, you know? My partners are the reason I was able to get that badge, but I'm sure there's more connecting us to each other than Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the stolen Portloin's feelings will never be what they were. Oh, so you two squirts know each other, huh? You both ain't bad, so I want to show you something. Wait, I just remembered. Clay. Why? What's the reason? Why have you forgiven Team Plasma? There's always room for folks to grow and change, ain't there? And if you only go after what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all thoughts and opinions other than your own. That's mighty dangerous. Huh. Is that one of those compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever, I'm gonna go fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah, what were you wanting to show us? You ever heard of the Pokemon World Tournament? Trainers from all over the world gather up to see who's toughest. Well then, I'll be waiting for you at the south end of town. Muted and lurking tonight, still your parents wanted to say hi to everyone. I'm Shadow. Hi, Shadow! Hi, Bohemian Moon! A tournament to decide who's strongest, huh? Right on, it's time for some special training! Now, I don't really remember anything about the Pokemon World Tournament, if I'm being honest. But I do know that we went and checked out that area earlier on, I think two streams ago, and we couldn't really do anything, so... I think we have to go down there now to see what, uh... What we can do to progress in the story. Thank you for waiting, restored your Pokémon, thank you, thank you, bye-bye. Oh, this music is so funky. I love it so much. All right, we're gonna come down into here. See what is down here. I think this is where they wanted me to go. Pokemon World Tournament, here we go. We actually come into the area now. Everybody calls me the Reminder Girl. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can make Pokemon remember those moves. Bring me a heart scale, I'll make a Pokemon remember a move. Okay. Um, that is the move deleter. Played like no stream raiders this path of month. Well, you've been very busy. You have been You have been extremely busy, so I can't blame you too much. Here we are. What do you think? Great building, huh? Here's where the Pokemon World Tournament takes place. Ain't she purdy? Follow me, Tads. Tads. I don't know what Tads is. What is this? This time, 
I'm gonna have you participate in the Drift Vale tournament. Anything goes in this here tournament. Eight people will be participating, and if you win three times, you're the champion. Why did you call me too? I was busy looking into something. You know something, Sharon? The one who's gotta show everyone what Pokemon battling means is you. And your panel ain't here either. I'm counting on the power of youth, because everyone likes up and coming stars. Okay, whenever you're ready, go on over to reception. Man, oh man, you never changed, Clay. But the tournament itself does look pretty fun. Okay, I'll go register. Me too. Reach, come on, let's go have some fun. We'll battle plain and simple. All right, I guess we're going to register for a tournament now. What is this PC? Oh, ah, okay, so that's like the tournament PC. Welcome to the Pokemon World Tournament. Will you participate? I guess. Please choose the Pokemon that will participate. We're gonna do Pet, Drippy, Peeps. Pet, Drippy, and Peeps. All right. Currently on tier seven, legit played none. I am on tier 45, but I, I stopped playing when I hit tier 45. That was yesterday or two days ago. All right, here's the tournament. Here's the tournament. First time a reach enters. Yeah, I've been playing a lot more dungeons now that dungeons are out because you can get all the bonus legendary scrolls. I actually, uh, I posted in uh, the Discord, but I unlocked my first legendary duplicate today. I got a, uh, a duplicate mage. So now I have, I have two mages. Ooh, this is some cool battle music. This is some pretty cool battle music. Ooh, I should not have started with uh, Pat. We'll send out Drippy here. I should have known that he would have started with a Duot. I probably would have been fine, but if he uses a water move, yeah, then I'd be kind of toast. I would be toast, not just any toast. Soggy toast. And we don't like soggy toast. Alright. I think Drippy's going down here. Oh, bye Drippy. Bye Drippy! I think this duo might uh, wipe our team. Ooh, I probably should have just stayed with Pat. Probably should have just stayed with Pat and not uh, risk Drippy like that. Because I should be able to take out Duot this turn. Okay. Sending out Tranquil. Set it on fire. Oh, it's going to be able to outspeed me here. Hey, Meeps, how's it going, my friend? Hope you're having an awesome day today. Welcome on in. One more hit. I should be able to take out this Tranquil here. Cat's on very low health, so it's a little risky going to this final fight here. I should be able to outspeed whatever it is, though. Simi Sage. Okay. It's grass, so I'll just be able to set it on fire. I think we're okay. I think we are okay here. Hey, there we go. There we go. Problem solved. Man, I lost. You become way too tough, but I gotta get stronger, too. Unfortunately, it does not seem like we get any experience. Alright, so we are advancing in the tournament. This reminds me a lot of the, um... Pokemon League in... Uh, Sword and Shield. Sharon wins. I win. Tessa wins. And... Chorus wins. Okay. 
All right, it's time to battle against Sharon. I guess the uh, difference between this and Sword and Shield is that in Sword and Shield, you get to uh, change around your Pokemon order between rounds. New battle plan symbols are throwing you off in Stream Raiders? Yeah, they have symbols for every every unit now. That that threw me off the first time, first few times I saw them. I don't know if you saw the announcement, but, but the next, uh... The next Stream Raiders event is going to be Marbles themed. Because, uh, Stream Raiders and Marbles are teaming up. Dude, that was not very good. That was not very good. Stoutland's setting up here. Stoutland is setting up here. I don't like that. I don't like that. Alright, I should be able to take out this Stoutland before it does any damage to me, because it's not increasing its speed, which works for me. And bam! Bye, Stoutland! Stoutland's so bulky. It really is. It really is. Been bummed you paid for the battle pass this past month, didn't really use it. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just a one-time thing, which, uh, is definitely unfortunate. I've seen quite a few people who didn't realize that the battle pass was a one-time thing, and they, like, bought it with a day left in the event. So it was essentially a, a waste of money. Alright, I think Pat's gonna sweep this team. I think Pat is gonna sweep this. One more, uh... Oh my gosh. Did he just keep putting me to sleep? That's the second Pokemon that's put me to sleep? I could go for a nap. I could go for a nap. I, I would also like to go to sleep. Soon, soon. My, uh, dishwasher got repaired today, in theory. I'm not quite convinced that it's fixed. We, we ran a quick, uh, cycle. And it didn't seem to clean everything as good as it, um, as good as it should have. So we put some more stuff in there, and I'm running it again right now. And I'm hoping my stuff gets clean, because I really don't want to pay for the dishwasher repair person to come over again. Did you get the PLC issue figured out? So I figured out what the issue is. It's such a it's such a weird thing. So we have um we have make tanks and we have delivery tanks. So what we do is we make the stuff in the make tanks, and then we transfer it into the delivery tank, and then the from the delivery tank it gets delivered out to our coding machine but in the actual delivery tank we need to mix the stuff from two different make tanks one of the make tanks is filtered the other make tank is not filtered and that's intentional because the particles are are big in that uh in that other one so the delivery tank inherits the batch type from the make tank, so it has the same batch ID, but it doesn't actually transfer the weight, because when we do transfers from the make tank to the delivery tank, some of it accidentally, or not accidentally, but some of it goes to the drain when it purges the line, so the weight is never exact. So the way they program the PLC is if the weight of the batch is within a certain range, the delivery tank just assumes it's one size batch, and it doesn't actually look for the real batch size. So the problem we were having is that second batch that we needed to transfer and mix in, the weight for that batch was not within the range that it was looking for, because it assumed it was a different batch size, even though it wasn't that. 
So it, it jumped from 750 pounds to 3,000 pounds. But I wanted it to be a 2,000 pound batch. So as soon as we were able to trick the PLC into thinking it was a 750 pound batch, it worked fine. But it... it uh, we need to revisit how the PLC is programmed because that's kind of stupid. If it inherits the... Uh, um, if it inherits the batch name, I don't know why it wouldn't also inherit the batch size. It just doesn't make sense. Hey, Aster, how's it going, my friend? You walked in on a very uh, technical conversation between me and Undissolved. That's all right. Hope you're doing well, my friend. How has your Monday been? I'm paralyzed and I'm confused, so I can't move, and I, if I do move, I just smack myself. Come on, Pat, work with me here. Work with me, Pat. No! Stop hitting yourself. Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. No! All right, Pat's dead. Pat's dead. That's annoying. All right, go Drippy. And if Drippy can get a hit off here, that'll be good, because then he'll get Moxie, which will mean that he's stronger. There's also a Lady Butt in chat. Exclamation Poke Catch. You'd like to try to catch that Lady Butt. All right, we got the Moxie hit. LGM. I don't know what type LGM is. Understood all of that completely. But just... There's two, uh, two different tanks, and they didn't agree with each other. Psychic. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense that it's a psychic type. All right, we're going to get another Moxie hit off here. And Clink. Is Clink electric, or is Clink just steel? Either way, with the extra attack... Yeah, not very effective, and it does well over half. One more, uh... One more crunch here, and we should be able to take out this Clink. There it goes. Bye, Clink! See, Moxie is just so unfair. Once you start getting those Moxie hits, it's, it's, it's game over. That's how I beat Cynthia in Pokemon Black. The winner is... Reach! That's me! Just as I expected, your Pokemon must be happy to be by your side. You bring out the best in their power. This concludes the Driftvale Tournament. See you in the next tournament. Wonder what I get for winning. Congratulations on winning the Driftville Tournament. Reach, as a result of your victory, you will be awarded battle points. We got one battle point. We hope to see you again. Now stand in battle, Runts. Now everybody's going to want to join in on this year's tournament and show their stuff. Hey, you two. Haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokemon battles to show? Guess I'll have to enter the tournament myself and rock the audience right out of their seats. See what I mean? People are pouring in already. If the strongest trainers from all over join in, it'll raise up everyone's level of skill. And then little old Driffel City will grow even more and make a heap of money. Just keep on busting those battles and riling everybody up. See ya! Interesting. So they're trying to use me for, uh... For entertainment purposes so that they can make money. And I don't get anything out of it other than battle points. I need to win all of these just to get these TMs? It seems like a lot of moves or a lot of uh, seems like a lot of battles are needed. Hello. Welcome to the exchange service corner. All right. What else you got over here? Oh, okay. This will actually be useful getting these items. Getting these items will actually be pretty useful. I 
Interesting. There's quite a few things in here. Eject button. Rare candy. Rare candy is 24 battle points. Holy cow, that's a lot of battle points. That is a lot of battle points just for one rare candy. I barely recognized you in Reach. You two are way different from when we battled in Aspirated City. Traveling with Pokemon makes everyone grow so much. Oh, Team Plasma. What was that just now? I'm going after him. Reach, come with me. Stop. There's no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for, my little sister's Purloin, it might be with them. I'm going to. I've got his back. It does have rare in the name? That's fair. That's fair. It does have rare in the name. I don't understand. It's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has Pokemon with him? No, no, that's not possible. All trainers and Pokemon are bound to another by Pokeballs. Maybe it is this bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they trust their partner Pokemon. Just gotta trust your partner Pokemon. Alright, where's Ghosty? Where's Ghosty? And why is he up to no good? Alright, PP up. That'll be good if we get a move that only has like 5 or 10. Are they on the boat? Oh, there's Ghosty. The ship. Why is this so cold? And... It seems like it's disguised as an old sailboat. Well, that can't be it, right? Why should you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't matter anyway. Oh, there's so many of them. You guys, seriously, this is Team Plasma's base? Uh-oh. Correct answer, so that's why, as you can see. There's so many of us here. Is this all? I think you need more backup. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared, big tough guy. Okay, pulverize these punks. Plasma! Hey, just to let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage. You're first. Plasma squad, roll out. Oh, this music is so good. This music is so good. Challenged by Team Plasma Grunt. You're going down, Team Plasma Grunt. Oh, this has got to be one of the best... Like, music tracks. In all of Pokemon. It's just so good. It's so good. More crunch should take out this coffin. Gotta get my dancing on. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got our Moxie hit. I think it only had one Pokemon. Yeah. Wow. You? Nope. Never mind. The text went too fast. Next, next. Hurry up already. It's my turn. Actually, it's Trumpish time. Get out of here, Team Plasma Grunt. Let's bulldoze this garbage pile. Send it to the dump. One more hit, we should be good here. And bam, super effective. Nice. Bye, Trubbish. I wish the Moxie rolled over between battles. That'd be nice. Ooh, Peeps leveled up. What's with this trainer? This reminds me of that trainer who messed with us two years ago. All right, let's go help Ghosty down here. This is a piece of cake. Go back up Sharon. Okay, I guess we'll go help Sharon. I remember you. You gotta pay for Verbank. You and the gym leader are going down, so you better brace yourself. It's two against one now. Reach. I'd like to show them what the two of us can do. So can you help me out? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, James. How's it going, my friend? 
We were just talking about how good the Team Plasma theme is. It's going down, I'm yelling Timber. Ooh, Bulldoze affects everything. Interesting, I did not know that Bulldoze affected everything. All right, I should be able to take out this grind right here. Gen 5 music slaps, I agree. I agree, this is very good, uh, very good music. It's going down, I'm yelling yeet. Uh-oh, it's a drippy off. It's a drippy off. Said it before, love the really heavy Brooklyn accent used for the plasma grunts. It fits unreasonably well. I think it's funny. I think it's I think it's funny. Alright, unfortunately, Drippy's not good against either of these Pokemon. Oh well, I guess we don't need to worry about Croc Rock anymore. Thank you, Stoutland. Flops in the chat with their stuff from our errands. Hi, errands! How's it going, Barry? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Bye, Golbat. Do -do -do -do. Drippy leveled up. Peeps leveled up. Is that a photo of what you got? Uh oh. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I'm kind of jealous. I'm kind of jealous. Viri got some Pokemon cards. All right. The gym leader is tough, but you? Are you even human? I tried to use the same combination as you, and yet... Thanks, you've really become much stronger. Help out Ghosty next, okay? Can I leave? <laughs> I can just leave. There's nothing keeping me there. Yeah, they can figure it out on their own. Okay, yeah, I do need to heal. I do need to heal. That's why I'm leaving. How about Ghosty? Okay, but what if I just left? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That is that is true story what just happened. I'm just trying to find the Pokemon Center. There it is. There it is. All right, let's heal up. Uh, don't forget, everybody, today is Monday, which means that we are going to be doing our cheap digital download wheel tonight on stream. Uh, you can enter uh, at exclamation uh, wheel. That'll take you over to the cheap digital download website. We are giving away a guaranteed gift card tonight. So if you want to win a Kingwin gift card, which is an awesome site that you can use to get yourself games for cheap, Make sure you enter. And we'll pick that winner after this next Stream Raiders battle. So, just a couple of minutes from now. I'm gonna end this, so back me up. Okay, Plasma Punk, are you the thief who stole a Purloin and Aspirita five years back? Oh, the music, it's so good. It's so good. Got a grimer and a coughing. Got Dua and Drippy. I want to use Bulldoze, but I don't want it to hit Dua. Ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. They steal Pokemon for a living. I seriously doubt the one that stole your sister's purloin remembers. It, honestly, that's a really good point. That is a really, really good point. They're not gonna remember that one purloin that one time. Uh-oh. Okay, bye, coughing. Is that going to affect the Grimer, too? <laughs> they literally just took out both of their Pokemon. All 
All right, in that case, I'm gonna use Bulldoze. Why not? Why not? I'm feeling spicy. I'm feeling spicy. Lower duot speed. Oh, that really didn't do very much. That didn't really do nearly as much as I thought. I should outspeed everything now. Peeps leveled up. GG peeps. And we'll just crunch the watchdog here. And I believe that Duat should be able to finish this off. Bam, just like that. And a crit. Alright. Um We gotta do the Stream Raiders battle, but it's gonna. end the battle. I'll come back to this in just a second. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get this Stream Raiders battle started, my friends. We've got 21 allies on the battlefield going up against 36 enemies. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. As long as we take out this big boss right there, I think we'll be okay. I think we got this in the bag. We've been crushing these battles lately. Uh, Execute is in the chat. Exclamation poke I catch. Uh, also, that mission was five years ago. Down anyone remembers that particular mission to a small city? That's fair. I agree. All right, we got eight gold going to everybody who participated in that battle. Kicking Kevin's taking first place, and the bonus loot's going to Daniela. Congrats on that. That is a boss defeated. Um, I don't think we're going to get to this token chest, unfortunately. But we can at least work our way over in that direction. Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and get this next battle started. You can join us over at streamraiders.com slash t slash reachpat. Sign in with your Twitch account, click and drag your troops onto the battlefield. You can place down a troop every five minutes and in a half an hour. We will get this started. Uh, all right, everybody. It is time to spin our wheel. It is time to spin our wheel. Last chance to enter. Uh, if you would like to enter, exclamation mark wheel in the chat. That will take you over to the Cheap Digital Download website. Uh, today's prize is a guaranteed gift card. Speaking of battles, did you know that for the low, low cost of $4.99 per month, you can subscribe to ReachPat using the link below. Okay, that's enough of my shameless streamer promotion. My contractual obligations have been filled. Twitch.tv slash ReachPat. Thank you, Undissolved. Thank you, Undissolved. Anybody else? Anybody else? We got Bohemian Moon. We got Boatman. We got Veery. We've got ReachPat. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. We have a contract? Of course you have a contract or something. Wouldn't that make Ghosty's sister incredibly young when Pertland was stolen? Uh, yes. Incredibly young indeed. All right, somebody's getting a Kingwood gift card, and that winner is... Bada 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 Viri! Congratulations, Viridian Space Fox. You have just won yourself a Kingwood gift card. You can claim that from your profile page. Chickens! How's it going, MJ? Nice to see you, my friend. Let me go ahead and get the next wheel set up. This will be for next Monday. All right, there is the link to next Monday's wheel. If you are interested in participating, all you need to do is click that link, and that'll take you over to the uh, Cheap Digital Download website. And then all you need to do is sign in with your Twitch account and click Participate up on the top of the screen. It is that easy. Let me just go ahead and update my command. There you go. Price for this wheel is a random Steam game with a chance of winning a $50 gift card. 
That's the last of them. Well, now, why don't you tell me everything you know about Purloin? Good idea. There are a lot of things I want to ask about as well. Ooh, somebody's walking out. What is going on? I don't know what kind of voice I want to do for this person yet. I don't know who it is. Ah. It's you. Oh, good grief. You're the person who was shivering in the cold storage, right? Wasn't your name Zenzolin? You're going to have to tell me what you're planning to do with this ship. You! Once again, we will use the legendary dragon-type Pokemon, and we will rule the Unova region. Curious trainers, we shall not let you run around as you please. Shadow Triad, get them out of here. By the way, we're not your... I know, but kick them out of here now. Move. Oh, all right. I guess we, uh, I guess we got kicked out. The Shadow Triad? What's their deal, anyway? Ah, Team Plasma, where did you vanish to? Shadow Triad. With their superhuman powers, they can immobilize people and then disappear. But I'm more concerned with what Zenzolit said. Once again, we will use the legendary dragon-type Pokemon and we will rule the Unova region. What could that mean? The legendary dragon-type Pokemon Reshiram and Zekrom aren't in Unova anymore. Reach. There's something I want to look into, so I'm going to head to Route 6. Be careful out there. So does that mean that our character from two years ago captured the legendary dragon Pokemon and then went on to a different region? Oh, yes, Sharon. You said it 30 seconds ago. You didn't need to be creative. It's for emphasis. Emphasis. Game down there was the Relic Passage. It was really soon discovered, but amazingly, it's... Wait, where was it connected to again? Interesting. I'm here collecting shards so that I can have my Pokemon be top moves. They can be found in the Dust Cloud, but rarely you'll find a Pokemon instead. The Funfest mission Find Treasures has been added to the entry. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's see, can't go down there. All right, let's see if this trainer wants to fight. Reshiram and Zekrom were canonically captured by Hilbert Hilda, uh, and N, N fled the region for a spiritual journey, and Hilbert Hilda went searching for him. Okay, so I was right. First, one big last goal. Hold your breath. Does he have hiccups? Sounds like backpacker Randall has hiccups. Oh, I forgot to heal Drippy. That's no good. That's no good. Ow. I just got sucker punched by a rat. Drippy, Drippy. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Got a lot of XP from that, too. Nice. Well, oh, holding your breath is really tough. Lacey has the floor 300. Wow. That is a lot of floors. Uma milk, use that on Drippy. Drippy's still alive because he has Moxie. I mean, he has IRL Moxie besides just his ability Moxie. Ooh, let's see if we can catch his Boldor. Not that I need a Boldor. It's not just a Boldor. It's a rock. Hello! Just got home from work. Uh oh. It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. How did you just get home from work? I have to say, do find. Who's that Pokemon? It's a rock. No, we killed it. Oh, we killed the rock. We killed the rock. Too much moxie. Too much moxie. Do you find it hilarious that Zolan just spilled most of his evil plan the moment Sharon asked? Like, seriously, dude, you could have summoned the Shadow Triad without even answering the question. Yeah. I mean, we've established that Pokemon villains aren't always the smartest people in the world. 
Next Pokemon you catch, it's a rock. All right. Should I name it It's a Rock or could I name it Dwayne? Hold up. Did you know this path was supposedly, supposedly made ages and ages ago? Dwayne the Rock. We can name the second Pokemon that we catch Dwayne. Awful day. Well, at least you get overtime. I guess that is that is the upside of the whole thing is you do get some do get some overtime. Home claws. See if I can knock this out before it's able to attack me. One hit KO. We catch three for Dwayne. Three for Dwayne. The Rock Johnson. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Rock and roll, we will keep battling. Wish you got OT. I wish I got OT. But instead, you know what I get instead? You know what I get instead on Dissolve? There is a, uh, a, uh, a leak of some confidential information that apparently the people they're hiring now are getting paid significantly more than what I got hired at, and they are not giving me a salary increase to properly compensate me to make up the difference. Uh, so I, I'm not supposed to know that, but I do. Uh, Sander basically introduces himself in X and Y with this world isn't perfect. I wish I could wipe the world clean of impurities and make it as beautiful as I. And somehow the game expects, expects us to think he's a twist film. That's fair, yeah. That is absolutely fair. Tie the job on. I mean, I did just get uh, a pretty hefty bonus to my pension, which is really nice. Uh, like, I literally got a quarter of a year's salary added to my pension as a bonus. Which is really nice. But, yeah, this is... I could use some more money now, you know? Hey, Cthulhu stole my hat! How's it going, my friend? Hey, guys, can we get some congratulations in the chat for Cthulhu stole my hat? Cthulhu just became a brand new Twitch affiliate as of overnight since last stream. So within the past 24 hours. So let's get some congratulations in the chat, my friends. I was actually hanging out over there earlier today. Alright, taking out that rock and roll, get the moxie hit. Tip ground is super effective against rock. We just gotta sharpen, uh, gotta sharpen Drippy's teeth, you know? It still bothers me that ground and rock both exist. Like, it just seems like- <gasps> No, Drippy! It just seems like they shouldn't be separate things. Alright, let's throw out Sus and see if Sus is able to do anything here. Rock is ground, ground is not rock. I know, but they're similar enough. They're similar enough. Make the same argument about water and ice? Yeah, I really could. I really, really could. It just seems like there's some, uh... Some typings that don't really make sense to me. Actually, let's throw Spherical in the front. We'll put Peeps in the back. And we'll put... Zoro in there. There we go. There we go. I don't know what is in this cave or what we are looking for specifically, but it's good for training. It's good for training so far. 
Say second gate ghosts since they have nearly the same exact weakness. That's fair. That's fair. They can just be combined and they can be spooky type. Hey, Schmibbles. How's it going? How's it going? Alright, let's see if we can catch this Boldor. Pocket ball. Great ball. No! Didn't even shake. Didn't even shake. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. We need to buy some more Pokeballs as well. I am running low. One, two, three. Much better. Here we go. Much better. Kate's currently staring at the wall. Oh, he's just looking for the ghosts. That's all. Psychic and Ghost differ thematically by quite a bit, though. Plus, there's the normal immunity and Ghost and different offensive capabilities. That's fair. Boldor, the ore Pokemon. When it is healthy, its core sticks out, always facing the same way. It swiftly moves front to back and left to right. Give a nickname the Boldor. Yes! It... A... Can't use the apostrophe there. It's a rock. It's not just a bull door. It's a rock. Kaya napping tonight. She always is. She she absolutely always is. There is a waylord in the chat. Oh, the camera's not working again. I don't know why it's been giving me so many issues lately. I guess there's no Kaya cam. Hype that it fit perfectly. It really did. It really, really did. The misspelling of it's to it's just makes it better, yes. Boldor owns the rock. Yeah, it's just not grammatically correct. It's spelled correctly. Be lurking in silence for a bit. Need to deal with some things. No worries, my friend. Thanks for coming on in. Congrats again on reaching affiliate. Spherical fell in love. I need to teach Sphe Spherical some better moves. Yeah, we do appreciate Lurkers. We do definitely appreciate Lurkers. Lurkers do be being the workers. There we go. Took out the Woobat. Took out the Woobat. Let's see if I have some better moves for Spherical before we uh, before we continue exploring this cave. Bag TMs. Um, don't have any water moves. You don't learn Rock Smash. Ah. And learn Rock Smash. We'll get rid of... Um, we'll get rid of Helping Hand because I don't like Double Battles. And we will switch Sus to the head of the party since you have a little more XP. Unfortunately, Fairy doesn't exist in Gen 5, so Azumarill isn't nearly as good as it is nowadays. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. We need some Fairy types. We need some Fairy types. I'll borrow this Ruin's power to power up my own psychic powers. Clever. Clever, clever, clever. Psychic Tully sending out a Swoobat.
When does Peeps evolve? I don't know. I hope it's soon, though. I hope it is soon. Level 35? Okay, so it is soon. It is... It is very soon, though. Didn't do much. See if Vino Shock will do a little bit more. It's gonna say Peeps evolves when Peeps is ready. That's fair. It's okay, Peeps. You can evolve in your own pace. Uh oh. Ah. One hit KO. That's the kind of mood you're in. In all fairness, on Dissolve, you seem to pretty consistently be in, uh, be in a mood. Yes, yeah, sus died. Sus died. Come on, Pat, take out this. Take this out. Subat is psychic flying. Pretty sure Subat is dead. That's what type it is. Ultimate question: What is that mood? Undissolved is what undissolved is. I think that's really the only way to put it. That is the only way to put it. Sus brings quite the sustenance to a party, wouldn't you agree? Go spherical! Spherical! Mood is undissolved like indeed. What did I have for dinner? I had lemon pepper rainbow trout for dinner. With a salad and some green beans. Good job, Spherical. Good job, Spherical. All right, we got to switch Pokemon around again here because I don't want to use all of my healing items. Put you there. Actually, we'll put Drippy there. There we go. ZR! Yum, lemon pepper, boo trout. Well, here's the thing. I was at Cracker Barrel, and I don't particularly like Cracker Barrel, but somebody in my household is absolutely obsessed with Cracker Barrel. So anytime we're in the immediate vicinity, um, we have to go. And that's where we ended up going for dinner tonight, so um, that is what I ended up with. Made creamy Cajun shrimp pasta. Nice. I don't like shrimp. That's a mood you can get behind. Not a big fan of Cracker Barrel. Yeah, like, it's fine. But the amount that she eats it is just absolutely bonkers. I think this is the third time that she's had Cracker Barrel since last Monday. Like, literally in the past seven days, she has had Cracker Barrel three times. Very glad you took Spanish class before Among Us memes became popular, considering that sus is an actual word in Spanish. Yes. Never actually been to Cracker Barrel. You're not missing much, James. You are you are really not missing much. Sounds excessive. Yeah, I agree. Uh-oh. Pat's gonna go down. Pat's gonna go down! Yeah, you're really not missing much. If you've never been to a Cracker Barrel before. Like I said, it's fine. But uh, I'd much rather go to like a, a small local diner than Cracker Barrel. Problem that I have that you get with a lot of chain restaurants is most of the food comes like pre-made and frozen. So they don't actually cook it in the store. They just reheat it essentially. So it's not particularly good. Alright, this girder is being mean. Your boyfriend and you are going to go there for Thanksgiving since the fam was with Pat. That's fair. The fam was with me. You gotta take the time off and come this uh, this year for Thanksgiving. I'm thinking of actually making a... Uh, possibly making a chicken for Thanksgiving instead of a turkey this year. Because the rotisserie chicken that I made the other day was so good. 
Girder, the muscular Pokemon. With strength and bodies, they skillfully wield steel beams to take down buildings. Give a nickname to Girder. Let's do it. Who wants to name the Girder? A Girder does evolve from Timber, and the last Timber that we caught, we named Kesha. Please heal? Nah. Nah. I gotta find my way out of this cave, and I don't have an escape rope. Any takers? Wilbur! Wilbur it is. Got Viri Zion. Nice. All right, let's heal up. Let's heal up. Just cards? Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I kind of want to open up some Pokemon cards. Anybody, anybody want to open up some Pokemon cards? I kind of want to open up some Pokemon cards. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right, I healed up a little bit. I healed up a little bit. Are you happy? Are you happy? I healed up a little bit. Let's open up some Pokemon cards. We haven't done that in a couple of streams, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Um, turn that off. Turn that on. Just gonna pick a random pack, and we've got. Let's see, James, say stop. I just got a stack of unopened packs of Pokemon cards here. I'm gonna I'm gonna run my finger back and forth and I'm gonna stop when I see James say stop. Stop. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This one right here. Chilling rain. Chilling rain. I gotta I might have to move my microphone again. Might have to move my microphone again. It's in a bit of a weird spot. Gave the local comic store all your duplicates, got a free pack of cards. Hey, nice. That's pretty cool. I went to uh, I went to a uh, big, big, big mall in Syracuse uh, the other day, and they had several stores that were selling Pokemon cards, and they were all like super, super busy. So I didn't bother stopping in. All right, here we go. We got a Darkness Energy to start, a Fog Crystal. A hat ram. A drizzle. Crab brawler. Followed by a snow runt. A weedle. I haven't seen a weedle card in a while. A cast form. Followed by a quillfish. Rehearse holographic Gardevoir. That's a rare one. That is a rare one. I like that art. Look at that. Look at that. And finally, last but not least, we have an Obama Snow. You got a Hollow Gardevoir? I got a Reverse Hollow Gardevoir. Not quite as cool, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. I kind of want to open one more pack of cards. Haven't done this in quite a while, so I gotta, gotta make the most of it, you know? All right, Meeps. Since you don't have a lot of cards, I'll let you pick. Say stop. Say stop. And when I see you say stop, I will grab that pack. Oh, stop. All right, right here. Right here. There we go.
we go. There we go. I would tell you to pick a number, but I don't know how many packs were in that stack, so it wouldn't really work out that way. Wouldn't really work out that way. Seen far, far too many memes. I hear Obama snow in my first spot. First thought is the Obama snow memes. Did anybody ever watch um, Saturday Night Live? They, um, back when Obama was president, they did some memes with uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson. So they said uh, Barack Obama turned into The Rock Obama. Those were always pretty funny. All right, starting out with the fire energy. We got a choice belt. Staravia. A Floatzel. Another cast form, different art this time. A Trap Hinge. Trap Hinge is pretty cool, I like that. A Gibble. Oh, we got a Gibble! We got a Gibble! Hey, Ashley Rose, welcome on in. Never actually sat down and watched SNL, seen many skits secondhand, and they're pretty funny. Yeah. I haven't actually watched- actually, I- I went to New York City, like, right before COVID started, and I got to see behind the scenes of the last show before COVID? Before they basically closed everything down in New York City, which was just absolutely bonkers. We got to see them rehearsing. Uh, there's a Buizel. Uh, but yeah, Daniel Craig was there, so I actually got to see him practicing a sketch with Kate McKinnon. Got a Halucha. Halucha's really cool. I like that. Sorry you're having some busy week. No worries, my friend. Just happy to have you here now. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that Jolteon card! Meeps, you picked a good pack. You picked a good pack. Look at that! Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, indeed. And last but not least, a holographic Garchomp. Oh, we got a lot of good cards in this pack. We got the Angie Jolteon. We got the holographic Garchomp. We got the Gibble. This is a good pack. Thank you, Meeps. Thank you, Meeps. Very Angie, indeed, yes. All right, everybody, speaking of Angie, let's go ahead and get Angie against these enemies in Stream Raiders. We've got 27 allies, 12 enemies. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. I don't think I've ever seen a Jolteon card like that before. Of all the Pokemon that I actually get with the chatbot today, it's Binacle. <laughs> hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. Rizion's so cute, I love it. It is pretty cool, I agree. I agree. We got five gold going to everybody who participated in that battle. Bonus loot's going to Schmibbles and Wicked Wheezy. Congratulations on that loot. Uh, this is going to be possibly our final battle of the evening. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I did start stream about 10, 15 minutes late. So we'll see how I'm feeling after this because I do need to get some sleep. Uh, for now, though, place down your troops. StreamRaiders.com slash T slash Reach Pet. We'll get this started in half an hour. Can we one day trade cars and open some together? Absolutely. Uh, Rizion was great, though. I distinctly remember that I named my first one Wireless when I caught it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Name it, uh, Bluetooth. Let's see. Do you recognize T-Mobile? Yep, exactly. Confirmed. Confirmed. Let's take out this Rag and Rolla. 
Sleep? What is this sleep you speak of? I know, yeah. I, I, uh, as much as I would like to stay up and hang out with you all night, uh, I do have a full-time job, and that takes higher priority. Are we going to sprint then? Yeah. We're just turning that entire uh, line of Pokemon into uh, cell carriers. All right, caught a Rog and Rolla. Who wants to name it? Rog and Rolla, the mantle Pokemon. The hexagonal shaped hole in it is its ear. It has a tendency to walk in the direction the sound is coming from. So that's its ear in the front? Does it have an eye? Who's that Pokemon? All right, Dwayne it is. Dwayne it is! Do you want me to spell it correctly? Do we want to spell it correctly, or do we want to do it with the typo? I'll let you pick, James. I'll let you correct it if you want, or we can do it with the typo. It's up to you. It is up to you. Do the typo? Alright. D-W-Y-A-N-E. It's funnier that way? It is. It is absolutely funnier that way. I completely agree with you. Found a max repel. Nice. Alright, who are we gonna run into now? A rat hat! See, I've always called it Rattata. But I know that there's a lot of people who call it Rattata as well. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Rattata. But it's always confused me. It's always confused me when I've heard people call it uh, Rattata. You pronounce it Rattata? I, yeah, I think that's that's the way they say it in the, like the the show, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's the Waving Weaving Walk. Wa Walk for short. I wonder what kind of Pokemon we'll meet today. Depends on my mood. Rock Rock has Boxy. Yo, yeah. So, um, let me, hold on. Let me, let me save this real quick. We're going to take a quick aside. We're gonna take a quick aside and uh, let me open up. Let me open up this. So this is my this is my copy of Pokemon Black. Uh, we beat the game with a crocodile that has Moxie. Its ability is Moxie. So we beat Cynthia only because. This crocodile was so strong, it was able to just absolutely take out all of her Pokemon. Like, we, it, I think it took us two or three tries to beat Cynthia? Like, we were expecting it to take an entire stream. I did it, like, right away. Um, so I intentionally, I intentionally found a, uh, a sand dial that has Moxie in Pokemon White 2. Just so that we can repli replicate uh, this, our luck with Drippy. Now, if you look, th this crocodile is also named Drippy. So, our... We got Drippy 2.0 here, yep. We got Bleach Pat, we got Kesha, we got Goose. I forgot that we had a... Uh, I forgot that we had a Ducklet on our team. This is the team, by the way, that we beat Cynthia with, I think. Because we just let Drippy do all the work. We just let Drippy do everything we needed to do so it didn't even matter that uh that the rest of the pokemon were weak planning on shiny hunting soon on stream crocodile is next that would be a fun shiny hunt that sounds like a really fun shiny hunt i have only technically caught one shiny pokemon in a mainline pokemon game uh, other than the ones that, like, they give you for free. I don't count those. And that was... I caught a shiny Growlithe in Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, that is the only time I have ever shiny hunted. It took me chaining about 400... 
I think about 400 Growlithe until I caught one, and then I caught a second one, like, right afterwards. But I have a soft spot in my heart for Growlithe. So I was, uh, absolutely... Absolutely gonna keep shiny hunting until I found one. Alright, let's take out this Grimer. I thought about doing some shiny hunting on stream before, but uh, I never got around to it. I'd absolutely be up to it if... Uh, if anybody would be interested. It'd be a very chill stream for sure. If we were doing shiny hunting. Ooh. We're in the sewers. Interesting. I didn't realize that's where that led. Headache hath returned. Bop the headache! Bop the headache! Meeps is down. Caught three shinies by pure random chance over the years. A Golduck in black and a Lolan Rattata in moon and a Cutie Fly in ultra moon. Cutie Fly had actually halfway decent stats evolved into a Rubombi. Built a pink on team around it. Nice. Yeah, make sure you stay hydrated. Get some rest. Uh, alternatively, just like drink a ton of coffee and eat like three bags of candy. And then eventually you'll just vibrate the headache away. That is that is the other option. Y'all want to catch an Eevee? Got a pink drink? Nice, nice. Y'all want to catch an Eevee real quick? Look, it's an Eevee! It's an Eevee! Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. Well, we only had one shot and we blew it, so. Time to move on, I guess, right? How do we get out of these sewers? Yeah, definitely get something to eat. That helps me as well. Gotta get some snacks. Gotta get some snacks. Actually, it's probably regular dinner time for you. Or a little after regular dinner time. I've been eating pretty early lately. I skip breakfast, because I'm not a huge breakfast fan. Or I'll eat a couple granola bars when I get to work. So I... Get into work around 7... I'll eat a couple of granola bars, and then I have lunch around 11, and then I have dinner around, like, between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. So usually around now, I'm starting to get a little hungry. So I've been trying to eat a snack before stream, and that's been helping me stay awake for sure. Thing is that we already have an Eevee just sitting in the PC. Hurts my soul. Aware. I'm incredibly biased towards evolution. That's fair. That is fair. Hey, it's Cass! How's it going, Cass? Good morning, crusty crew. How you doing, my friend? Hope you are doing uh, very well. All right, we made our way over into Castilia City. I uh, wasn't planning on coming here, but uh, but alas, here we are. Hello, would you like to rest? Yes, I would. Reorganize your entire desk. Now you can't fit your microphone anywhere. Hmm. You gotta mount it to your ceiling. How about that? That's actually what I did when I first, uh, when I first started streaming. I didn't really have a good spot for my microphone, but I had a, I had a hutch on the back part of my, um, on the back part of my desk. So I had it mounted, like, above me. And that's the only reason, really, why I didn't start streaming with a webcam. That's why, I, like, I have since fixed the setup so that I I don't have the, uh, something blocking my face anymore. But like, I just never got into streaming with a webcam, so I still I still don't. It's currently behind your monitors. Thought it can come from underneath them. Uh, don't go that low. Ah, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. 
How do we get way over here? I feel like passage went under the water. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Mike is against the back wall facing the ceiling. Yeah, you might need to figure out a different way to figure to uh, connect that. I had a boom stand for a while that I kept my my mic on. All right, peeps, you're gonna learn fly. Uh, air slash. Uh, gonna name our next Pokemon Molly. Absolutely. Absolutely, we can name our next Pokemon Molly. Um... Air Slash is good for multi battles. Bubble Beam. I don't know, James. What do you think I should get rid of? Relic Passage is just the Pokemon equivalent of the Lincoln Tunnel. That's fair. That's fair. Thank you for that hydration reminder. I have been slacking. I have been slacking. How does a ducklet carry someone? Very carefully. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. <laughs> Guys, there's an Among Us in chat. There's an Among Us in chat. There's an Among Us in chat. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Replace Air Slash. You see, the only reason I was thinking of keeping Air Slash is because it is really, really good um, in multi battles because it can hit all the opponents at once. Like, Aqua Ring doesn't do much, Feather Dance doesn't do much, but they're both really good in unique situations. I feel like. Uh, maybe. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold off here. We're gonna give up on We're gonna give up on this. Oops. Cass and James vented. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I will come into the PC. And I will see if there's a different Pokemon that I can teach fly instead. And then I'll just swap back afterwards. There we go. We've got a Tranquil. We'll do that instead. All right. We'll get you back in just a second, peeps. Don't worry. Don't worry, peeps. We're coming back for you. Don't worry. I'm just engineer. Yeah. James is just an engineer. You should trust him. We haven't played Among Us in quite a while. We'll have to, uh, Among Us escaped. No, the imposter's still out there. The imposter's still out there. The revolution has begun. Ah, they got me. They got me. Cthulhu has decided to revolt against the mods. Against whom do you revolt? All right, we will fly up to here. And then we will switch out and we will get peeps back. Is Viri still here? Uh-oh. Revolt against Viri. Viri, you've been revolted against, my friend. Molly is such a weirdo, sometimes she won't eat. And if I transfer her cable to a Kong toy, she gobbles it up. She's doing that now. Yeah, dogs are weird. Um, luckily, Kaya doesn't do that. But she's still... She's still... Uh, she still does some weird stuff. Every now and then, I have to remind her that her food is there. And then she gets all surprised, like she wasn't expecting it. All right, we're gonna battle this lady again. Revolution has begun. Revolution 
Ooh, Cthulhu and Viri are fighting. I have learned to not get on Viri's bad side, because she can be pretty brutal if she wants to be. I'm kidding. Viri's very nice. Chad is really rising up today. Yeah. Chad is feeling spicy today. Shadow Walker revolting against Cass. I'm gonna... I'm revolting against James. We gotta share the love. Share the love. I'm revolting against James. Oh, wait, no, this is a trainer battle. That's right. I thought this was a wild Mincino. I'm trying to theft somebody's Pokemon. I revolted against you before you can revolt against yourself. You can revolt against uh, Undissolve. That's always an option. James, who do you revolt against? Very in pants and everyone in chat is lovely. I am changing my name to Reach Pants. I am changing my name to Reach Pants. Spread the love then and go for Undissolved. Good call. Good call. I think somebody just needs to revolt against Schmibbles and then we got everybody here. Actually, is Danielle still here? No, Danielle, Danielle is not here. Somebody needs to revolt against Schmibbles. Typing that before you recommended that for the record. All right, all right, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. What about Daniela? I'm sure somebody can revolt against Daniela. Any takers? Any takers? Oh, Meeps. Against whom do you revolt? Do your royalties over my new name? Um... Unfortunately, you didn't patent the idea. Therefore, uh, I'm going to patent it first, and then you'll have no option. The revolution has begun. All right, Meeps is revolting against Schmibbles. Cass, who are you revolting against? Cass revolts against Daniela. Okay, okay. We're getting all the mods some revolting love tonight. Everybody's getting revolted against. You get a revolt, and you get a revolt. Reach Pet Mods, Civil War. Exactly. Oops. I didn't mean to run, but okay. Also, no, Drippy died. It's up to you, Spherical. Are we the Spider-Man pointing meme? At this point, if all the mods are just revolting against each other, it is absolutely the Spider-Man pointing meme. Hey, it's Sharon. Oh, Reach, can you come with me for a moment? Rip Drippy, he will be missed. No one really talks about it, but the record shows that there was a sudden drop in temperature near uh, Lacunosa Town. It was only for a moment, but it went down as low as negative 58 Fahrenheit. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded around Castilia City and Driftville City. On top of that, that incident with Team Plasma. I think this needs some investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather, though. I'll give you this. It's a hidden machine that contains Surf. With this, please go to different places and check what's going on. Let one of your Pokemon learn Surf and you can travel across the water. Sweet. It's just a bunch of Uno reverse cards flying in the air. Yeah, that is very cold. Sounded so nonchalant. Sorry to have slowed you down. Some strange things may be happening, so be careful on your journey. Laughs in upstate New York. That's a joke, it only gets the negative 24. Yeah. Luckily, it doesn't get, uh... It doesn't get ridiculously cold here. We just get a lot of snow. Because I live uh, pretty close to Lake Ontario. Spherical! It's the wind chill that gets you there? Oh, yeah. Fighting is weak against flying. Yeah, I realized that after I pressed it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the new move that I just taught spherical. 
And then I was like, um, probably, probably not the best idea. Probably not the best idea. Um, hold on, hold on. Spherical! Oh, somebody's, somebody's cop, cop lying at us. <gasps> it's a thing! I want it. Okay, bye! At negative 42 years ago and it broke our AC. That's when you learn negative 40 is the same in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Yeah. Negative 40 is, uh... Very, very chilly. Thank you for the hydration reminder. That's Pokemon. It's the legendary Pokemon called Kobolion. Told you the story of the other day, right? Oh, is it is it Kobolion? Kobillion? We'll call it Colby. What a noble presence! They say three Pokemon, Colby, Verizon, and Tekken, fought against people to protect Pokemon from the war those people started. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. Three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. But why did it show up in front of people? Is it patrolling the Unova region to protect Pokemon because it fears for their safety after the commotion caused by Team Plasma two years ago? Or does it sense a new problem? Unforgivable. So the reach of Getsus's ambition and malice is growing ever wider and warping the lives of all it touches. Did Colby appear in front of you merely by accident? Or to plead with you to solve a problem? Unlike Lord N, I don't have the ability to understand the minds of Pokemon. Therefore, I don't know what that Pokemon is thinking. But if you can befriend Colby, it'll be a great asset to you on your journey. Okay! Time to be friends with Colby. Charge Toad and Cave. A shocking experience. All right, we already made our way like halfway through here at some point. But now that we have Surf, we can probably go farther. Back on the Swords of Justice with their cell carries. I think it makes the most sense if Cobalt is AT&T. Verizian is Verizon, and Shrekian is T-Mobile. Uh, Keldeo is Sprint. Got a Dragon Gem. Interesting. Interesting. <gasps> it's a Joltik! Um, I should probably run away because Spherical- No! Spherical's gonna die! Spherical is not going to be very strong against an electric type. Alright, just smack it with a rock. Smack it with a rock! That didn't do anything either! Run away! There we go. That's better. That's better. Bug resists fighting. I know that now. I know that now. Actually, I need to switch these up. We'll put Pat in the lead. Okay, I gotta come up this way. Gotta do this puzzle again. Fighting and bug are the only two moves that mutually, or types that mutually resist jump. Interesting. Why would a bug not be able to fight? In a fight, not be able to bug. I think we give up on teaching path the type chart. We, I just need, uh, we need to build me a bot where I can just type like exclamation joltic. And it would tell me what types of moves to use. But we punch bugs. I mean, have you ever tried to karate chop a fly? It doesn't work. That's fair. I usually end up smacking myself in the face. 
Which is just even weirder because if you karate chop, you're usually going down. Charge Stone Cave. I really like it here. Formulas express the forces behind electricity, its connection to Pokemon, and humans and Pokemon themselves. This, this is my ideal place. I have to go. I have to go in order to save Pokemon and protect the very friend that I have to stop. Interesting. Who is that? Who was that? All right, we can set the bug on fire, though. The moral of the story is if an electric spider shows up to your house, you burn your house down, right? Is that, uh, is that the takeaway from this Pokemon battle? Pretty sure that's the takeaway from this Pokemon battle. Oh, hello. Arson is the only reasonable response to spiders. Indeed. Indeed. Ace Trainer Corky. Setting it on fire seems mean, though. Well, it didn't really give me much of another option, you know? Oh, it's a triple battle. Pat, Spherical, and Peeps. Uh... There is a herdier in chat, exclamation poke catch if you'd like to try to catch that herdier. Um, let's see. We'll set the bird on fire. We will aqua tail the sand slash and um wait. Yeah, well, Aqua Tail, Sand Slash. Flink is a steel type. Flame Charge probably would have been best used against it. Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's see if we can take out the Sand Slash. I'm getting all of my Pokemon mixed up. Spherical, no! Ah, not able to take out the Clink, unfortunately. Alright, that did very little. Uh, we will bring in Sus. You have a Zoro. If you're getting mixed up, it's doing its job. That's fair. That is fair. That is... Is that... Is Peeps Zoro? I was like, I don't think that's Peeps' moveset. It was confusing me. But that would make sense if it's, uh, if it's the Zoro. You can drain the bird and Fury swipes the sand slash. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Flying resists grass. That's fine. I just wanted HP. Zora got a boosted, uh, boosted HP. All right, we'll come back to this battle in just a second. It's Stream Raiders time. Got to get the Stream Raiders battle started before everybody yells at me again. All right, 25 allies, 57 enemies. We'll be back to Pokemon in just a moment. Stream Raiders is a game that we play between the games here on the channel. There's a ground type right there that takes extra damage from grass. I can't... I can't read James, so I don't know how to do that. You know I'm not good with my type matchups. I really just need to have a printed out chart or something right in front of me. That would really make my life significantly easier.
All right, we're about halfway through the enemies here. Still a couple treasure chests to go, which will give us some bonus loot at the end. I heard her yelling again. Ah! Indeed. That we are. I would yell at Kaya, but as you can tell, the camera's not working. Alright, still got a couple of enemies to go through. This battle is going very slowly. Oh, it's because of this sand right here. The sand makes it everybody super slow. I should have put the speed boost down. I should have put the speed boost down. Go, Pat, go! Go, Pat, go! There we go. All right, we still have this mummy orc. Couple treasure chests, and I think these traps will automatically uh, disengage if those are the only things left. And one more treasure chest down here. And is that it? All right, battle complete. Five gold going to everybody who participated in that battle. James taking first place. Loot's going to Schmibbles and James. Congratulations on that. This will be our final battle of the evening. I'm going to be wrapping up stream here in a minute, but we will do this battle offline. You can join us in this battle by heading on over to streamraiders.com slash t slash reachpat. Sign in with your Twitch account. We can drag your troops onto the battlefield. You can place down a unit every five minutes and in a half an hour. We'll get that started. All right. Let us take out these last few Pokemon here. You has soup. The question is, what is soup? Do we, did we ever get that question answered? What is soup? The sun pheasant is strong. There goes the Zorua. Just mentioned that grass is super effective against ground. No, I, I, okay, so I, I, I meant to do it the other way around. I meant to do it the other way around. Wait, no, okay, hold on. I, I'm... I messed up this turn, the past two turns. This entire battle, I think, is a... Is a... That's a good summary. This entire, this entire battle, I've just been making bad choices. James would agree. James would agree. What is soup? Baby, don't hurt me. Ooh, it's gonna use Roost and regain its HP. This thing is tough. This bird is tanky. Tanky bird. Come to expect that from me? That's fair. That is fair. I am nothing but predictable. Is there a way for me to switch peeps and sus? Like, can I switch their positions? Shit. Oh wait, no, okay. So I need to do that on... Shit. Hey, we got the bird down. We got the bird down.
1400 experience from peeps peeps wants to learn rain dance i don't want rain dance i think it is possible but it has to be from one of the outside pokemon they'll move to the middle uh see that is why i wanted to switch because i knew that uh sand slash was targeting the middle position so i was hoping that it would switch first so then it would hit peeps and it wouldn't do anything. But unfortunately, I was not quick enough. But still, we beat Quirky. We beat uh, $3,900. Wow. That is a good takeaway. Sand Slash was faster than peeps, indeed. Sand Slash was faster than Peeps. I'm probably actually going to, uh... Ah! Uh, spider! 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 Set it on fire! I think I'm gonna save up and wrap things up here for the night after we, uh... Forcefully remove this spider from our existence. From our, from our proximity. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to wrap things up here for the evening, everybody. We got some more battles to do. We got some more cave exploring to do. Um, but just with uh, starting stream a little bit late and uh, having to get up early to go into work tomorrow and stuff. Can't stay up too late. I stayed up a little too late last night, and I am definitely regretting it. So don't want to make the same mistake two days in a row. We're going to call it quits there for the evening, my friends. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do that. I forgot there's something else I needed to show you all. There was something that I got in the mail today. I got I got a package in the mail today, and I opened it up. And I, I wanted to show it off, because I thought it was really, really cool. I thought it was really, really cool. So, I don't have a command for it yet. But for those of you who haven't heard, um, at the end of the month, coming up, I think it's June 24th, we are going to be doing a charity stream for for Starlight, uh, Starlight Children's Foundation. They are an organization that provides uh, education, gaming, and other support services for uh, young kids who are in the hospital. Now, being in the hospital at any age is terrifying, but especially when you're a younger kid and you really don't know what to expect. Uh, and if you're in the hospital for a while, it's, it's not a very fun experience. So what Starlight does is they provide um, educational resources, like I said. So they'll give uh, like coloring books and just like regular reading books, puzzles, um, stuff like that, as well as games, whether it be board games, video games, uh, VR stuff to to help them kind of experience things that they might not be able to experience from a hospital. Um, and it, it helps it helps kids. Um, not be as scared while they're in the hospital so that they can be more comfortable while they're getting the help that they need. So we're going to be doing a charity stream for them at towards the end of the month. It is going to be a streamathon. We haven't done a streamathon in a while. So every, uh, every donation to the charity is going to add time to the stream timer. Um, and we'll keep going as long as we keep getting donations. Um, there's a few incentives I've already come up with, and there's a few that I am, uh, I, I need to add still, and there's a few spots available. But, uh, they sent me a t-shirt in the mail today as a thank you for signing up to do a, uh, a charity stream for them. So, I'll be rocking that stream, uh, with the face cam on, uh, the entire charity campaign coming up. Uh, and they sent me a nice little note, and they also sent me, there they are. They sent me this really cool uh, sheet of stickers. So we got some Starlight stickers. And we also got a really cool Starlight pin. So I'll be rocking this stuff um, uh, for our upcoming charity stream. They sent the note here. It says, hey there, you are very special. Our mission of delivering happiness to seriously ill kids and their families would be impossible without you. If this mail brings you joy, then share your Starlight smile. And we got Baby Shark. We got Baby Shark! And there's some uh, stats on the back. Um, every minute a child is in need of medical care, 
Uh, there's over 800 hospitals uh, and healthcare facilities in their network, and they have provided smiles to over 17 million kids since the organization was founded in 1982. So we'll do our part to uh, help make some kids smile. Do we have a chat command, or will that be up there on the 24th? It'll be up. Th I just keep forgetting to do it. Um, I will try to do that sometime this week so we can advertise it. Uh, but there is a post on my Discord, and I think I tweeted it. I might have forgotten to tweet it, but when I tweet it, if uh, if you wouldn't mind helping spread the word, that would be really, really appreciated. You can uh, retweet and uh, share my post, and uh, let's hope we can raise a bunch of money for some kids in need. Anyway, that is going to wrap things up for the evening. Thank you again so much for coming and hanging out with us. I really appreciate you all being here. Uh, we will be live again on Friday. Friday, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We will be live streaming some more Pokemon. I'm thinking maybe sometime next week we could do a community night. Uh, maybe some Jackbox games. We haven't done Jackbox games in a very long time here on the channel. Um, and I think that would be a really cool, uh, really cool way to hang out with everybody. Um, and then... Uh, when the new Stream Raiders event starts, the new Marbles season starts, we're going to be playing quite a bit of Marbles on stream, fair warning. Um, because the uh, Captain TV team is giving out over $30,000 worth of prizes when the, new, um, when the new Marbles on stream season starts. So I, I would think it would be really cool if somebody uh, in our community won... Uh, won some prizes so the more marbles racing you do as a streamer and as a viewer the more uh entries you get into the the prize giveaways so we will uh we will do that but that that that's not for that's not for this coming week that's for a few weeks out anyway everybody uh thanks again for hanging out if you liked everything that you saw tonight make sure you drop a follow and turn on alerts so you can get notified whenever we are going live you can also join our Discord, so you can stay up to date with everything that we have going on. We're going to go raid somebody. I think we'll go with the uh, the No You raid. We haven't done the No You raid in quite a while. If you're subscribed, you can copy and paste that raid message. No, you're being raided. If you are not subscribed, you can copy and paste that second raid message. Oh, great. It's a Reach Pat raid. We're going to end with some KK Slider music, as we always do here on the channel. Until next time, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic evening, and I will see you all again real, real soon. Bye, everybody!